Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Gamer and his dog here. We are back for some more. Her story. I'm trying to remember the game. I'm trying to remember the name of the game. It's so late at night and I'm still playing it because this is really addictive. We're trying to find all the clips. It's getting annoying. And I'm getting a bit of a headache and I'm wondering if it's because of the glare. So I'm going to. Oh, I don't want to switch the glare off. I actually think that glare is actually going to be a bit of a headache. But it also could be because I've shaved all my head off. So I'm a lot more naked these days. Right. Let's see if we can find these last fucking clips. This is tough. There's like 271 of these we've got to try and get. And we ain't getting all of them. I was so focused on sort of the end, like the last part of the story, or like what the overall mystery was, that I wasn't too much worried about the actual completing it, as it were. And there's all these last parts I need to know. You've spoken to everyone, spoken there. To everyone there. Why is that someone repeating? Must have, someone must have seen my note. I don't know them. I don't know them. So many things could have gone wrong. I don't know them. So many things could have gone wrong. That was a bit fun. Let's try that again. Oh, God. I don't know. I mean, I guess the rock. You've spoken to everyone there. Someone must have seen where he went. So many things could have gone wrong. So why did she kill him, though? No. No one has been in the last few weeks. We had a plumber come in three, four weeks ago. Plumber? Someone sang with you from the rock. Plumber. Plumber. Fix. Clean. Clip. Clean. Hmm. Then she told me she wanted to help more. She said I should move in with her. She would come clean with Simon about me. I was family. I couldn't have a baby in a bed set. I told her I didn't want to tell Simon. Told her to wait for the time being. Then she told me she wanted to help more. She said I should move in with her. She would come clean with Simon about me. I was family. I couldn't have a baby in a bed set. I told her I didn't want to tell Simon. Told her to wait for the time being. Uh, bed set? So I moved out. Any roots? I put any roots. I don't exist. Baby. We spent the wedding night in a hotel in Brighton. It would have been too much to do more. We were saving for the baby. It was wonderful to be in a hotel, away from home, just alone together. Since then, we've always tried to get away for our holiday. Yes. It was a shock to him. I mean, we never thought it was possible. I don't know what he... I mean, I hadn't decided whether to keep the baby. So they were surprised about him having the baby. I wasn't really ready to talk to him about it. What the fuck? How's it going down there? You're done. No. Okay, I'll hang on a bit later. Buzz when you're ready. No. Okay, take your time. Why am I not done? Water. No. I've had enough coffee for today, thanks. Glass of water. Tea? 
Um, could I have a cup of tea? A cup of tea would be good, thanks. Just one sugar. That's Hannah, because she's drinking tea. Maybe a fresh cup of tea? the street. It was busy so I parked down the end of the road. I walked up to the house, I knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag, unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. I could tell that uh, what happened. That was that she says at the end? That enough? Oh, to Simon's parents. That enough? Yes, I'm intrigued about coffee. A black coffee, thanks. No sugar. Sweet enough as it is. That's Eve. Yes. Um, I got to Glasgow. I was exhausted, so I pulled over and slept in the car. I woke up because a rubbish truck went past. I got some petrol, poured a coffee and a pastry, tried calling someone from the payphone, and then headed back. Mm. Back eight years back, it was a present to myself. I shouldn't even be drinking coffee with the baby. It's been hard trying to give it up. Coffee, I guess. Milk and sugar. Sugar. <laughs> um, black, no sugar. Thanks. Coffee, I guess, milk and sugar. Coffee, I guess, milk and sugar. Yeah, black, no sugar. Um, black, no sugar. Yeah, they're Thanks. different. They're, they're different, they're different, they're different. Fa black coffee, thanks. No sugar. Sweet enough as it is. They're different women. They're different women in the fucking interviews. This is, yes. Just the one sugar. Thanks. Is that? Right, it is how it is. Yeah, hold on. A cup of tea would be good, thanks. Just one sugar. Hannah hasn't got a tattoo. Eve has sugar. Black Eve, coffee, Eve doesn't want sugar. Um, black, no sugar. Coffee, I guess. Milk and sugar. Yeah. The difference said differently. Black coffee, thanks. No sugar. Sweet enough, is it? That's Eve. Yeah, that's the difference. They, yeah, they drink different on the coffee. Right. Ah, oh, breakthrough. Okay. Drink. No. Okay. Mirror. Let's go for the mirror. It wasn't the present so much. It was one of those arguments that had been simmering for a while. The present was a mirror. A nice mirror. Simon likes getting he new didn't mirrors. Make glass. The kind of mirror a princess would have in a story. He made it specially for me. The mirror. 
the mirror. I can't remember. I put it somewhere safe. Upstairs, I think. I haven't looked at it since. Silver leaf? No. And he normally silvers them properly. This mirror, it's supposed to look antique. The reflection isn't as good. It's the perfect mirror for someone who doesn't like to look at their own reflection. Princess. with fairy tales. Not just the pretty, pretty ones, but the traditional ones. They were dark and real, bizarre and violent. Felt mm. like life. We had this huge old book that I think Mum must have bought from a library sale. The illustrations had thin tracing paper over them to protect them. They were in colour, shiny plates. At the front of the book, was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual stories. We'd read aloud the captions and fit the pictures. Uh, there was something intimate about peeling back the tracing paper and dressing the pictures. Yes. Rapunzel's hair was cut. The eagle plucks out his heart. The princess pricks her finger. The mirrors, the books. Yeah, we were 17. At the it was a nice wedding, people said. Simon looked very handsome. White wind dove. <laughs> His parents paid for everything, but he's an only child, so it was important to them. It was what they called a shotgun wedding, but if you looked at the photos, you couldn't tell. The dress was beautiful. It looked like Princess Diana's. The train wasn't quite as long, though. There's a great photo of the bridesmaid helping to carry it out of the car. Let me see. Yes. I drove in here because I remember, well, I went over the river. Mm-hmm. And then there was a church. There. River. Church. Yeah. And I probably... Park. Well, I remember seeing a street sign called Princess Street. Yeah, there it is. Princess Street. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it must be this one. There. Prince. Um, river. I'm going to go back to Prince. Okay, you got me. I'll confess. We were there. It was a dirty weekend. Simon was going to expense it, pretend That's it was bright and yeah. I used a made up name. What was the made up name you used? We stayed at the hotel, had room service, didn't leave the room, had a great view of the river, and you could hear the church bells. Like you said, it was very romantic. What was your fake name you used? What was your fake name? Fake Prince. It's Rapunzel. The story starts when she's born. Mother Gothel, a witch, takes Rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked Rapunzel, up in this of course. Tower. Rapunzel gets pregnant by the prince, and Mother Gothel is furious, so she cuts off her hair and throws it. Actually, her hair's already short here, so. That's already happened. So she throws him into the wilderness and Rapunzel is reunited with the prince who's blind. But she kills him with her tears and so it's a happy ending. 
Is that too much? We're getting somewhere. I don't know if anyone really changes. You just become more yourself. <laughs> Simon was my prince. And that hasn't changed. And the glaziers. I worked there some weekends and someone had a part-time job there too. That was Eric's generosity. He was always good at helping out other people's children. Simon was quiet, more thoughtful than the other boys. Even then he had a sense of craftsmanship. It wasn't always rushing stuff. Boys that age are just running around like headless chickens most of the time. You know? Plus he had that look. He looked like a fairy tale prince from one of my books. It's the thing with fairy tales. Oh, 142. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Twins, twins. why were such fucking twins? We were the princesses. We had a poster of Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. I had a pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. What when special her engagement things? was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. Twins, of course. Why do you think of her fucking twins? Twins? Twins. <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? Are you a twin? Yes. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Twins. Which one's this? Florence took me home with her. Mother hadn't been expecting twins. Twin sister. Didn't think it's such the sister thing again. When she went home, Sam had a birthday tea waiting. Oh wow. Afterwards she told Sam about me. She told us that. Told him I was pregnant. She wanted me to move in with them, this sister he didn't know she had. He didn't oh here we go. She knew that instant. The look on his face. She knew. Yes, that it was I. My sister is gone. What happened to Hannah? And she's never coming back. Why? Where's she fucking gone? Gone? Yeah. They've gone to bed feeling ill. Thinking it was flu or something. The neighbour called me. I had to use my key to let them in. We found them dead in their bed. And they'd been there for days. No one had noticed. Oh, they were in the cellar. It's awful. Oh no, maybe not. It was so soon after my miscarriage. In the worst year of my life. I'd been so happy to get married and after that it was just like, fuck. Simon found her at a bar, Eve at a bar one night. No, and it's okay, her. the other detective has just gone to get me one. Eh? Oh, gone of course. So, what what happened to Hannah though? That's what I can't figure out. The bruise. Bruise. I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. Yeah, I bet it does. 
I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you, but I haven't already told the other policemen. I found the body. I... Bruce. I thought it made me sound suspicious. It's not a normal thing to do, to drive to the other end of the country. I just... I wanted to keep it simple. I know it was stupid not to tell you everything. Saying I spent the night in Glasgow when my husband went missing, I thought it would, you know, distract you from what was important. Yeah, but why did you...? It's different now. There he is. Bruce. You got a bruise? Bruce? Oh, yeah, no, it's nothing. I was going through the top cupboard of my kitchen and the chair slipped and I kind of hit the door with my face. I mean, hurt like hell. <laughs> yes. Cunt. His body. It didn't look real. His throat. Is his throat or his neck? And I didn't see his glasses. There's these thick glasses. It doesn't always work. Mother wanted me to grow my hair long, but I kept cutting it myself. <laughs> I wanted to look like my reflection. She always had short hair when she was little. Mother would hide the scissors, but I would find a way. Cut it with a bread knife, something like that. My reflection would always leave her house and go on adventures, but I never could. Mother taught me at home. And I had books and TV. Oh, TV was magical, but it was only on when it wanted to be, so I spent a lot of time reading books. Uh, my reflection. Reflection. <clears throat> yes. The first time we saw each other, it was strange. There we go. We both realised at the same moment, I think. We must have seen each other before, but there was this instant when we first realised... What's it called? It's doppelganger, it isn't it? The reflection was staring back. I think I was five. It was my birthday. My reflection was wearing a party hat and waving. I knew what party hats were from books. And it suddenly occurred to me, today must be my birthday. See, she says mother. I waved back and... So mother refers to... Um, what's her name? Copying each other's movements. Oh, the, fuck, the midwife. It says mother and mum. There's a difference between the two. I wanted to see my reflection. I thought that if I touched her, something would happen. We would become one. One girl. The fairy tale was over. The witch was dead, and I'd be restored to my rightful place. But why didn't you do that, mother? Well, she wasn't my real mother, but she raised me. So I called her mother. Do you want to hear the story? Yes. It's a real life fairy tale. Okay. 
There's a girl and she's staring out of the window. She's sad. She's trapped. She's here. She's looking out the window because her mother won't let her out. Yes, mother. Mother's the key word. Mother, mother, mother. I would have been a good mother. I was young, but I would have been a good mother. She was a girl, by the way, the baby. We were going to call her Sarah. Thank you. Simon wanted to call her Ava after his nana, but I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. Oh, you use the term symmetrical. Okay. That's interesting. Doppelganger. No. Sarah. Ava. Come on. My name is Hannah. H. Yes. Yes, of course, your name's Hannah. We know that. Right, let's just have a look. Goffle. Nope. Witch. Tower? Done scared, I think. So look at this. Oh, God, I tell you what, I think that flare light is actually giving me a headache, but <laughs> I don't care. Mirror. Glass. On his clothes, that would make sense. He made it by hand. I mean, he brushes the silver onto the glass. That's not how they make mirrors these days. I mean, he made the mirror. I mean, he gave it to me. Simon made mirrors. He constantly gave them as a present. Silver. <laughs> present mirror. It was my birthday, like you said. We were going to have a meal at home. We had our meal. He gave me his present. I guess I didn't like the present. From when I woke up. Okay. I, uh, I woke up. Simon was already up and he made me birthday breakfast of eggs benedict. Uh, we both had to go to work, so we saved presents to later. Um, I got to work, had some birthday cake, children sang me happy birthday, then I came home. The birthday meal was a takeaway, um, and Simon gave me his present, which I didn't mind. You said you didn't like it. And after that, we talked about the baby. It turned into a big argument. Simon left, I was furious. I wanted to get as far away as I could and get some space to think. So I left. Mm. To Glasgow. Glasgow. How we do we do? How do we get Glasgow? I got in the car and I drove. To Glasgow. And just kept driving north. Just kept going, just wanted to get as far away as I could. When I finally stopped, I was all the way up in Glasgow. That's a long drive. I was so tired. Just had to sleep. No, I don't think so. Glasgow was deserted that early in the morning. When I arrived in Glasgow, 
I was exhausted. The streets were empty. I was driving badly. And I hit a taxi. Not a big crash, just paintwork. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving license on me. But when I told him I was pregnant, he made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. It was fine. The hospital must have details when I was looked at. There's a scratch on the car. Glasgow left. <laughs> Home. How you spell Glasgow? Probably right. Taxi. Taxi. Hospital. Ask the hospital. <laughs> Alright, cheers. Throat. Got the difference between throat and neck. On his throat. How? Slice. Cut. Blood. Body. Like I said before, it was three, something like that. I walked. Saw Simon. He was on the floor of the living room. Cut. Me that blood. He was dead. Car. No. No. I wasn't in the house all of Friday night. After the argument, after Simon left, I left too. I was upset and I wanted to get away. So I took the car. And I drove north. Mm. I left the next day, Saturday. I slept for a few hours in the car. When I woke up, straight back. Uh, Simon wasn't returning my calls and I wanted to try and make I really want to get all these clips but I get the feeling there's going to be like last house. two or three I'm going to have trouble with. Simon wasn't there. And I... Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. I pulled over and slept in the car. This was just by the side of the road. I was exhausted. Mm -hmm. Bin. Sick. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> I won't be sick again. This happened some days. Why? I'm pregnant. It's morning sickness. Four. Saturday. It was late. Early Saturday morning. And what happened Sunday? A week or so ago. It would have been the Saturday before my birthday. You know, I get like that on the weekends, have a lie in, then want to get up and blitz the house. Let's try the days of the week. Monday. Tuesday. 
Wednesday. Wednesday. Keep pressing fucking hash. Thursday. We done Friday, didn't we? Night. I didn't. I slept in the car. I left about nine that night. And I wasn't there. Nine. So. Saw me, saw Mobile them. Oh. Yeah. Mobile. Well, they have one for the glaciers, but it's only for where. I need to do glaciers. I really need to do that. I can't remember the number. Oh, it's in the kitchen. I saw it plugged into its charging cradle. She's crying, I guess. She's sad because she thought she saw her husband with another woman. This is all true. But it's okay because she finds out it wasn't her husband, it was his brother. And so it's fine. Brother. Sun. Asia. Diane is really nice. She helps out at the glaziers, organises the Christmas party, that sort of thing. They have two kids, really sweet kids. She used to look out for me when I worked there. Why did Diane have to look out for you? I did. Well, we met when we were 17, both working at the glaziers. Okay, so that's how you met? No. Everyone loved Simon. He's a glazier who doesn't have much money. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. Diane. Not really. He would go to the pub. He had his drinking buddies there, but no one ever really came back to the house. Sometimes Eric, his boss, and his wife would come over for dinner. Why is that? Yes, wife? returning favour. Why is that Diane? Diane is a really oh, good yeah, cook yeah. into her trendy ingredients. And the last time Simon cooked something off Master Chef, he got the recipe of sea facts. <laughs> sea facts. My Lloyd Grossman bit, commenting from the sidelines. I had to find fennel from the supermarket. Have you ever eaten fennel? Are Simon and Eric arguing? No, I can't imagine they'd be arguing. And they get on so well. Unless it was something to do with work. Maybe Simon was being too much of a perfectionist. But I don't know. You should ask Diane. Okay, let's try a plane and boat as if she got on a plane. No, did you get on a boat? What about a ferry? What about a train? Just thinking like, where the... Where's Anna gone? Where's Hannah? Okay. Seafax. Fennel. <laughs> Order. What did you all do at the takeaway? No. Take away. Eric. Simon and me. No. He was as shy as me. I asked. Well, I asked a friend to ask him out for me. Yeah, I bet he did. We you... had our first date at the Odeon in North End. We went to see Whiskey Business. I had on my one best dress. <laughs> yes, you Simon did. Simon paid. He bought me a whisper, and I was worried about getting chocolate on my teeth. Because then you wouldn't. The other one wouldn't have it. Uh, 
That's why you're worried about it. Once you can't know, it's interesting how it works on so many levels. I mean, it was... Everyone loves Simon. He was so... nice to everyone. He loves me. Simon and I. Thanks. Please find Simon. I love him so much. Please find him at this stage he's still missing. When? Found. <laughs> Simon. Simon. Lost. Lost. Uh, missing. Alone. Silence. Mm. Okay, well, I've got some of my notes here. Uh, who the fuck's Carl? He's one of his mates. Yeah, five, five. Sarah, we've done Sarah, didn't we? Alright, let's try this fucking code again. Before I go nuts. Okay. Right, let's see if I can get this right. Wish you could pause this. Let's try this one first. This one might be easier. When we weren't together, we'd send secret messages by tapping out a code that we'd learn from a book. The not code. Something prisoners of war would use. We'd tap them out on radiator pipes or the attic floor. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? One, two. I can't count. <laughs> I can't count that for shit. <laughs> oh, let's try this one again. something there about the fucking code. Silent. There's a lot we're missing out on, a lot of chunks of stuff. Okay. Okay. I'll try my best to remember. Okay. So you want to eliminate me as a suspect? Suspects. That's a good word. Suspects. That's a nice word. 
when you suspect someone of murdering their husband? That should eliminate me as a suspect. If I was in Glasgow, can't be in two places at once. Yes, but you can. This is the third day running you've called me in. I speak to Doug and Eleanor every day. And they say you've been asking a lot of questions about me. Should I be worried? Am I a suspect? Eleanor. Maybe let's name Eleanor for a while. Eleanor! Yes. I speak with Eleanor at least once a day. Not that there's anything much to say. Oh. Duck. I don't know. Shit. Spilt. Wet. Cold, hot, new. As in, would you like a new drink? Well, fine, considering. I got back into the house today, and that was weird, knowing your people had been there through my things. It's like I'd been burgled. I mean, worse, obviously. I don't know. I haven't lived in the cellar yet. They sent a cleaner in. As good as new, he said. But they had to throw some stuff out. Couldn't get the blood out. And I'm still waiting to hear from the coroner so we can get a date set for the funeral. It's going to be a cremation. Mm. So... Cremation. Let's have a look. Yes, it was a cremation for the best. Cremation of what? We both wore black and had bail, so it was easy. And after the funeral, everyone came back to the house and served up sandwiches. And I stayed out of sight. Well, she has a knife. Knife, that's a good one. Uh, um, she's been cooking, I guess. She's been cooking him his favourite meal. Um, she's his wife. And he's asleep and she doesn't want to wake him because he's ill. That's why she's sad. Because he's ill and... He might die. It's kind of a sad story, so I'm not sure how it ends. Die. Huh. Death. Waited. I think it was that time, the first time, at the house. Oh, God. In his bed. Oh, mine. That I got pregnant. <laughs> Amazing, right? This fucking magic sperm. Sperm. And they say lightning doesn't strike twice. <laughs> I didn't tell him. I missed three periods. I had pretty irregular periods anyway, but... Three? No, hold on. I had always thought we were infertile. Both of us. I didn't tell him. It's 
waited. Hannah and I were meeting for our birthday and I told her because I thought she would be happy for us both. I think she was. I'm wondering if... I mean, it's late and I'm going nuts. Hold on. I'm wondering if... Um, it's actually... Right, so Eve's the girl lived across... Eve's the girl that was with the midwife. Hannah's the one that was in the hat with the parents. I'm wondering if Hannah's actually the one that got the tattoo. Because she was going... She threw going, sorry, I was, I'm pregnant. I've spelled that so fucking wrong, miscarriage, Jesus Christ. Oh, dyslexia. There we go. Helps, yeah. Miss. Carriage. There we go. Then my parents died. Then my parents died. It was the worst year of my life. The miscarriage and then... My parents. So why was you saying you had morning sickness? Yeah. I need to be paying some more attention to these dates. Yeah, I, I was, was doing it at the start, but I'm not doing it anymore. I was. They told me I was infertile after the miscarriage because of complications. I think this is the child. I think like we're going back looking at our mother's story and she's in prison reflection talking no you're no. Going to the wrong person if you think I'm some kind of slut if you think I'm the kind of person that would have had sex with all those guys <laughs> Slut. Mm. Cock. Nah. Penis. Well, sperm was there, so it was worth a shot. Uh, vagina. I don't know. Baby. Baby neck. Birth. so many times. Boop, boop. Delete session data. Delete all user submission data. Uh, cancel. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to stop here. We will be back soon for more her story. Hopefully, we'll be able to complete this in the next hour. I'll go to bed. Goodbye. <laughs>